Commissary Kitchen, my infamous prison cookbook, October 11th, man. You know what I mean? Shout out to Hot New Hip Hop, man. Prison Fool, right? About the child. You know, your three hots that they gotta give you, mandatory. Um, the worst shit that I experienced was my first day in Rikers Island. Um, at night, I seen a couple of my boys in there. They was like, yo, P, da da da, we gotta show you how to make this. It's your first time, da da da, we just show you how to make this shit right here. So it was like some meal, they use ramen noodles, they crush it up in the bag, they use crushed Doritos. They use uh, chopped up Jack Mac fish, that's mackerel. And they chop it all up, they mix it all up together, and it's like real disgusting looking, you know? But it's like real popular in Rikers Island. Even up north is popular. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna try it, you know what I'm saying? I sat there and watched him make it, he showed me how to make it, I'm like, all right, let me try this shit. He was like, oh, it's good, it's good. Try this shit, I'm like, ah, it ain't good, it ain't that good, like, you know what I mean? But I ate it, so. Maybe about a couple hours later, I'm laying down in the cot. I start feeling like sweating. I'm like, why am I sweating like this? I'm feeling dizzy. And I'm feeling nauseous. I'm like, yo, what the fuck is going on? I start throwing up everywhere. So I had to go to the infirmary because I'm sweating bullets. I keep throwing up. I'm like, oh shit, I'm sick. Something made me sick. So I had to go to the infirmary. They brought me to like the hospital part of the jail. Come to find out I got like some type of food poisoning or something from like the macro. I don't know what the fuck it was, but that was my first day in Rikers Island. So that was like a horror story. You don't ever eat that shit chopped with Doritos and ramen and Jack Mac. Uh, disgusting, yo. Another story I can remember when I went up north to, uh, they put me in State Greens up north. I don't forget what jail I was in, probably mid-state. Um, the child came around and like for, for dessert, we had bread pudding. It was like a big block of bread with raisins in it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like jail bread pudding. So whatever, that was the dessert. So I get my little child tray. I sit down to eat and a fucking little pube is sticking out the middle of the bread pudding like a birthday candle. Like, <laughs> yo, I'm like, yo, what the fuck? I'm looking, I couldn't believe this shit. It was like sticking right in the middle of the shit, just sticking up. Like a birthday candle. I said, oh shit, this is crazy. I'm never eating this shit ever again, you know what I'm saying? And that, that was like, those two first incidents, they, that was like really what inspired me to want to make my own food in jail. Like, I'm not eating this shit no more. Like, I'm, creating, I'm making my own shit. Like, <clears throat> and the last, I mean, the last one that I could think of is a, a, a horror story that somebody told me. Yeah, I didn't experience it, but somebody told me about it. Um, they told me two stories, as a matter of fact. They told me one time, you know how like the, the cooler, the juice, like they got the handle on it, it's like a cooler. They got like a juice cooler that they bring around every dorm. So I was told that one time they found like a dirty rag at the bottom, at, like after everybody would just drink the juice out the shit, they opened it and they found like a dirty rag in the bottom inside the juice cooler. Like, like they be doing foul shit to the food in jail, like it's foul, like, you know what I'm saying? Cause you locked up with a bunch of criminals. They all, not everybody, but you know what I'm saying? There's a bunch of degenerate ass, crazy, sick motherfuckers in jail. Like, you know what I mean? So you hear stories like that. Like motherfuckers doing weird shit to the food. I heard another story about people finding broken glass and they food and shit like that. Like, but yeah, all of those stories inspired me. You know what I'm saying? To cook my own meals in jail. Like, you know what I'm saying? And make sure, you know, so I could see I made this shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't been tampered with. I know it's mine, it's good. I'm not gonna have no problems, or.